poet. By the 1840s the British Empire was at full tilt, operating colonies on every continent apart from Antarctica. Key for Britain's domination of world trade was India, which provided cotton, lumber, and one of the most formidable foes the empire had yet faced. For all of its mercantile successes, the British Empire was nearly brought to its knees by the humble irritating mosquito. Malaria was rampant in the tropical colonies. Its initial onset was marked by high fevers, chills, and vomiting. In extreme cases it lead to seizures, coma, and death. Left untreated the disease resurged in prior victims, incapacitating those who had battled through a first encounter. The causal link between malaria and insects had been observed as far back as the Roman occupation of northern Africa. Despite this, the parasitic protozoans that the mosquitoes carried and that ultimately caused the disease were not discovered until the turn of the 20th century. By the 1840s the British Empire was at full tilt, operating colonies on every continent apart from Antarctica. Key for Britain's domination of world trade was India, which provided cotton, lumber, and one of the most formidable foes the empire had yet faced. For all of its mercantile successes, the British Empire was nearly brought to its knees by the humble irritating mosquito. Malaria was rampant in the tropical colonies. Its initial onset was marked by high fevers, chills, and vomiting. In extreme cases it lead to seizures, coma, and death. Left untreated the disease resurged in prior victims, incapacitating those who had battled through a first encounter. The causal link between malaria and insects had been observed as far back as the Roman occupation of northern Africa. Despite this, the parasitic protozoans that the mosquitoes carried and that ultimately caused the disease were not discovered until the turn of the 20th century. On 13 May 1960, a NASA Thor Delta rocket carried the agency's new ECHO-1 satellite into a 1,000-mile orbit around the Earth. It was a 156.995-pound metallized sphere 100 feet in diameter, essentially an enormous shiny balloon made of the same miler as party balloons of today. It required 40,000 pounds of air to fully inflate the sphere at sea level, but in the rarefied atmosphere in orbit, it only required a few pounds of gas. ECHO-1 was a passive satellite, used to reflect transcontinental and intercontinental telephone, radio, and television signals. It was so large and so reflective that it was easily visible to the naked eye for much of the Earth. It was expected to remain in orbit until sometime in 1964, but it survived much longer, and did not burn up in the atmosphere until 24 May 1968, eight years after its launch. On 13 May 1960, a NASA Thor Delta rocket carried the agency's new ECHO-1 satellite into a 1,000-mile orbit around the Earth. It was a 156.995-pound metallized sphere 100 feet in diameter, essentially an enormous shiny balloon made of the same miler as party balloons of today. It required 40,000 pounds of air to fully inflate the sphere at sea level, but in the rarefied atmosphere in orbit, it only required a few pounds of gas. ECHO-1 was a passive satellite, used to reflect transcontinental and intercontinental telephone, radio, and television signals. It was so large and so reflective that it was easily visible to the naked eye for much of the Earth. It was expected to remain in orbit until sometime in 1964, but it survived much longer, and did not burn up in the atmosphere until 24 May 1968, eight years after its launch. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.